Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos and welcome to another review. So today we're going to be checking out uh, Enemax's Liquitech 240 cooler. Uh, some of you will recognise this because not so long ago we did um, the 120X, which is a smaller version than this, and you see the box is a bit bigger here. And um, it's just a different form factor. So we're going to put this on the test bench and uh, get some results from it. Now because we've already done the 120X, I'm not going to do the unboxing and show you how to mount it because we already covered that in the previous video. So we're quite literally going to jump to having a look at it set up and then straight on to the test results. Alright, so let's check it out. So here's my test bench all set up and uh, as always it's the same component so we've got a Gigabyte uh, 990 FXA UD3 motherboard we've also got an AMD CPU which is the FX8320 uh, and then we've got two sticks of RAM here which is AMD 8 gigs and uh, a Radeon HD7970 so the same setup that I've always been using on all of my fan tests so just like the 120X, uh, this has the same sort of sync that goes onto your CPU with the blue light just there as you can see. And of course, this comes off onto um, the heat sink just here. Now that's a stand it up like this because, I, you know, it's a, it's a bench, isn't it? So there's no real way for me to attach it onto there. Um, so for testing purposes, I've just got it stood up right here. Um, as you can see, the uh, form factor is completely different to the other fan. The other one's half the size as this, and you'd have like a push-pull or pull-through sort of configuration with your fan, so that would be on that side. Um, this one's designed mostly for putting on like the uh, the roof of your case or something like that. Or if you've got a really big one, you could have it down the back, back side. So um, you'll see in a minute the results aren't that different from the 120X. Um, I think there's only like a degree difference um, and again the fans that come with this are the same as the 120X uh, they have these adjusters so as you can hear at the moment or maybe not here I don't know um, these fans are like going going for hell for leather they're on maximum um, RPM but you've got these little switches just here that you can adjust the RPMs so if I just do that now I'm not too much sure how much you can hear uh, audio wise but you can turn them right down um, to uh, 1300 RPM and that makes it super quiet I mean you can't even hear that now if I just prop that like that I can't even hear those fans spinning now yeah which is really nice that you've got that option but just stop that from touching that fan <laughs> um, or you can just go if you've got a really good case with noise cancellation you can go all out and whack them up on full blast all right so that's that let's check out the results now Alright, so here are the results from the Enemax 240, and as you can see, there's not a massive difference between the 120 and the 240. Um, so the results from the normal test, no power save mode, is uh, idle at 25 degrees, and then under load at 36 degrees. That's a maximum RPM. Uh, and with the overclocked, I did two results. I did it maximum and low, with you know the ability to change uh, the speed of the fans. So... On maximum RPM, we got a 46 degrees on overclocked, and on the lowest setting, it was 50 degrees. So as you can see, there's only like a degree difference between the 120X and the 240 on the overclock mode. And again, uh, a degree, only a degree difference on the normal mode. So there we go, that was the Enemax Liquitech 240, and it's pretty damn similar to the 120X, as you saw from the results. I think there was only a one degree difference cooler. Um, so for me, I think this is more of a fan for the enthusiast who like to make their own uh, machines and all that sort of stuff. And the reason for that is because it's a different form factor. Um, you can put it on like the top of your case, the back of the case, if you've got the space for it, along the bottom and all that sort of stuff. I know you could do the same with the other one, but if you want to get the same sort of uh, cooling, you're going to need to you know, stack it up so you've got a pull-through configuration. makes it quite thick. So if you imagine you've got your cooling unit and the two fans, it's going to be like this wide. Uh, but with this 240, uh, even though it's longer, it's slimmer because you've got the cooling unit and then just one fan, so it ends up being like this. 
Um, so it's definitely an enthusiast uh, kind of cooling system. Um, so with it, the results being the same as last time, and the fan is fantastic, you know, good results and everything. Uh, ever so slightly cooler, even if it is only so slight. Um, I'm going to give it the same award as last time, which was uh, a gold award. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.